board of the most popular model of Serena Yachts. Welcome aboard Serena 58. All right. Come on up. Well, welcome to the beach club. Yes, welcome to the beach club. Well, first of all, the size of this swim platform is quite large. It's amazing because you still have the structural part, which is pretty conveniently deep, and behind you have the hydraulic swim platform. This here is actually really convenient. I don't know if I've ever seen it like that. It's just a loose one pole to be able to get in and out of the dinghy. So you can just move it anywhere you want. Yep, you have multiple different... I really different... like that. I feel like that could be a, and of some course, kind of And the staples are removable. You can slide this one back. Yep. So I think we should start aft because we're not going to come back here. Okay. Entrance to our engine room is going to be from the cockpit, right? Yes. So let's check out this area here. So typically this could be a crew quarter or an overflow cabin. Or I always like to say for US market, like a teenage kid's cabin, you know, that they're like away from everyone. But the owner of this vessel has decided to set it up as a proper laundry room. So it's got a washer and a dryer, tons of storage here. that You can put everything you need for laundry and it's got a head check it out it's a wet head it's got a toilet it's got a sink everything you need open this up oh, yeah. a little storage fantastic and now we're going to go up to the cockpit so just as we walk by we have the transom shower right here uh-huh we have dual staircases one on each side yeah which is also really nice on the yacht of this size yeah it looks very grand always you have the dual staircases leading from the swim platform up to the cockpit makes it look right away like a small super yacht oh this is cool what's that it's for our lines if you have a longer line you can just store it in here look that's really well done with a cutout right yeah there's a cutout you put the line through you can store it away i like it so in the cockpit area we have sitting for eight easily can have dinner with eight and what i really like is what they did here would you guys know my pet peeve to be able to go through here yeah Ta -da! ah this is cool Ta -da! look how much space is there now how cool is this super easy to get through so you never have to ask anybody to get out super super easy also if you're just using this table for drinks let's say you know you can easily do that and if you really want to get out you can just do that Get you out. know yeah, yeah exactly that's just great really good size cockpit for a 58 footer agreed and i like the teak work it looks really nice look they added this really stylish piece how it kind of comes in and then also the roof extends all the way over aft so you're pretty protected which also makes it for a pretty easy way to create a good little weather enclosure you totally could do that put a track in look there's pretty much a space for it right there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's a semi-custom shipyard so you can do a lot of customization to the layout as well as obviously features. If you guys are wondering what the noises are, there are lots of Italians out there, and as you guys know, they're very loud. You go forward? Yep. Okay, let's do it. Side boarding door. Oh wow, this is a very comfortable walkway. For a 58 footer, it feels very wide and tall. Totally great. Look at the overhang here. Also something you're not used to seeing on the size of a boat. It's really nice. Yeah. Feels super done. safe. These for fenders? Yep. Oh, I like that too. Very cool. Pop-up lights. What's that? Second crew quarters? No. <laughs> Something big. Great That's a size. Huge Great storage. Size you storage. can easily put a seat bob in here. Oh yeah. So we have a sitting area here and a layout area here. Very large. Mm -hmm. Cup holders. Everywhere. And look, different size of cup holders. I mean, you could literally put a bottle right here. Yeah. Or one of these coolers that you see sometimes. Or one of these very large cups because it has already cut out the handle. So same thing on this side, I'm guessing. Looks huge. See that storage? Yes. Unbelievable. These pop up. Also very convenient. Okay, so and what's here? Wow. This is really crazy. And it drains I, as well. I mean, do you feel like that's probably the most conveniently placed storage space we've seen on the boat of this very size. Very well done, very well done. Because they didn't just do like a couple of little cupboards, they literally just thought like, we'll give you the largest space as possible, all in one, you could really put proper stuff away. I like it a lot. Away. So then we have dual lockers here. Oh, look at that, the bridle line is attached right here for the anchor. And then, oh, wow, look at the storage size. Do you see this? Oh, <gasps> wow. The big fenders in there. It goes all the way in there. Yeah, do you feel like opening the other side? Do I feel like it? Yeah. 
Do I have a choice? No. So you got a staircase down there, so it's full of fenders right now. But that's your anchor locker, which has a lot of storage room, actually. So then we have our windlass all the way forward here. Stainless steel anchor. Got an ultra anchor, actually. And then our fair leads through here for the dock lines and the bullets on the deck. Real quick, we just want to ask you guys to make sure to hit that subscribe button. It makes a huge difference in helping our channel grow. Maybe some of you don't know, but we actually do not charge anything for any of our tours. It's part of our company motto. We want to keep our independence. And for that reason, we want to only film what we want to film and don't want to be influenced only by what you guys are asking us to do, which actually brought us on filming a Serena because a lot of you have been asking us to do that. So make sure you go and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And for some of you, if you feel like you haven't seen our video in a while, that's because the algorithm forgot about you. Make sure you unsubscribe, resubscribe, hit the notification bell on and you will never miss another video. We really, really appreciate it. Back to the tour. Let's do it. Build in Turkey. It's a fast rising shipyard. I remember the very first time you and I were walking through for a little boat show and we saw a little model. I think it was, was it 88, 88 or 68 or something. I think yeah, it was 88. 88. And we both went like, what's that? And they said, oh, it's this new shipyard. It's coming to, you know, U.S. market. All right, so right here we have oh, our electric grill. grill and refrigerator. All right. And you guys know how we do it. Let's go check out the flybridge. So this model, the 58, comes in two versions. We're going to start back here. You can have this 58 with the fly or what they call the coupe. So that's a sister ship and it just doesn't have the flybridge on top. We have a really good size half portion of the flybridge. And something you also don't see and expect out of a 58 footer. You have a rain shower head exterior. You have shower right here. It's pretty crazy. I mean, have you seen that before? This style of a yacht, right? Kind yeah. of troller style? Yeah. Not really. I love it. Okay, so we have another electric grill here. Because you can never have enough. Even comes with a mirror. With a mirror. <laughs> yeah. <it's very laughs> with nice. a mirror. Hi. All right. Sink you can turn into a cutting board. Uh huh. That's cool. Yep. Oh, I guess this is something you use for the sink. Oh, dual you purpose. Can, you can use it, yeah. I like that. Okay, and I'm sure there's probably storage underneath here, right? <gasps> no. Oh. See, that's why you have to open things. Drink fridge. Since you mentioned it's a semi-custom shipyard, you could have teak here. You can have it with non-skid the way it is. You can also have built-in furniture or loose furniture. There are no limits, really. This model we're walking through was obviously done to the spec of this owner. Somebody owns this vessel already. Mm -hmm. So everything you see is because they've chosen to do it this way. So now we have a sitting area here, good for six people at least, right? Yeah. Same concept. How cool is that? And then coming forward, we still have a really cool layout area here. Look at the visibility. Yeah, it's incredible, actually. All right, I'll go right really here. Really good visibility. And you can do the helm. Okay. Oh, these are comfortable. Comfortable chairs. Comfortable helm chairs. Yes. Very comfortable, actually. Mm -hmm. So this boat is outfitted with Garmin Electronics in combination with the Volvo engines. So this boat is outfitted with a joystick, shift and throttle controls, stern and bow thruster control as well as another Garmin display here, which can also display the engine information, plus the two larger chart plotters, which you can assign the way you want to. Like for example, we have the surveillance cameras here, and there we have the chart plotter. You got the autopilot right here, stabilization right here, and then there's two red buttons here. What do you think they're for? Nuclear weapons. <laughs> I would say these are emergency stop buttons for the main engines. Okay, that's a good guess. It's probably a better guess than mine. Right. Here is the little Volvo keypad where you can start and stop the main engines as well. And then here on the right hand side, we have the important switches which you need for navigating. We got the bilge pumps, of course. We got the navigation lights, horn switch, a couple of light switches, water pressure, battery parallel switch. And then we have a fusion stereo mounted right there cup holders again of course and a vhf radio mounted right there how are you enjoying yourself over here i'm not leaving this is a really comfy chair they're very very comfortable i totally agree all right they're like perfectly shaped okay well, we're not done here i can delegate from here oh okay cool let me check out what's here yeah there is an ice maker oh perfect and then over here we have a storage compartment i would like to talk about the mass that's behind you and the reason why i'm bringing this up is looking at the mechanism I think this yacht is going to be loop capable. 
We definitely have our locking mechanism there. And this is going to be your highest point right here. Yeah, I think you're right. And these chairs look like a, they're fold. They're foldable. Yeah, and this boat becomes very capable of doing the great loop. We've been on a 68 footer that had yeah, a foldable. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty positive. That's really cool. Yeah, it's I think it's going to be a very comfortable one. I think you're right. All right, let's check out the interior. Of course, we have a fold up weather door here, so you can close it if it's really bad weather. You want to keep the cockpit dry. You guys are ready? Let's do this. Come on in, big sliding door. And actually, it opens all the way. Oh, no way! Oh, I didn't even realize that. Yes. That's amazing. It brings us right basically into the galley. So it creates a really nice open space here when you're cooking, even though they still have a hood here. Mm -hmm. So our main galley area is on our starboard side. We've got a mealy dishwasher, storage, storage, nice little spice rack here, oils and stuff. Look, they did that. You can wipe it off really nice. Mealy induction cooktop for a burner, a microwave oven combo. And then we have our sinks. Look how cool the sink's shaped. I like this dual sink setup. And then here we have our trash can, a wine cooler, great size, mm. important for cruising. And this is our fridge, all melee, all the appliances, freezer. Oh, interesting. Oh, there's a, it goes all the way here. I was like, why did they have a shelf just for this? But it actually goes all the way in and there as well. Battery switch panel. Is there something below still? Looks like it. Oh, another an ice, ice maker. maker. Dang. Again, pretty impressive. It's possible they were spec'd out this way by the owner, that they wanted to have that. Don't know if that would be a spec, but the fact that you were able to fit it in in the pretty compact galley is very, very encouraging. What's this here? Oh, that's a service for AC. Okay, got it. Perfect space for a coffee maker. And we're moving forward. I left my sunglasses here. Remind me, guys, if I lose them again. We're in our salon, which is just flows really nicely aft into the galley. I like how it's a little step up, so you have really cool visibility all around. I've got rails here as well. This is a good size sitting area. I think I see storage. Uh -huh. oh. What I like about the interior, it's all very warm and cozy. Yeah. All the color choices are very warm and inviting. Sirena saw me coming because there's more storage down there. <laughs> they know what they're dealing with. It's here. <gasps> more storage. Wow. Okay, so it's safe to say this has got as much storage as they could probably fit in here besides some sort of a headroom. We've okay. got a convertible table here, fold up, oh, yeah, fold sorry, out, sorry. and low, high low. Yes, perfect. So you could do some indoor dining here. Also, another storage space. Oh, that's where all the dishes are. And cutlery. Wow. Oh, beautiful. Beautifully done. So I'm guessing that is part of the package, right? Yeah, that's amazing. And over here we have a pop-up TV, which you can't see right now, but it is in there. Okay. Oh, look at that. All of it has got perfect placement. Everything, including, is that salt shakers? I've never seen anything so well done on this size of a yacht. I mean, just perfect. Look at that. Unbelievable. And then right here, it's oh, a really important our, panel. We got our breaker panel here for all the high voltage and low voltage breakers, as well as the selector switch for shore power and ship power. Super convenient. I cool, like huh? it a lot. Most of the time, this is very comfortable. And then if in the longer journeys, you can put it down. Got your footrest here. All right, run through the helm. A lot of times we have the helm on the starboard side for some reason. I don't know what the reason is. I'll get out here of your way. Here it's kind of cool that we have the helm on the port side. Got a sliding window right there. And on the starboard side, we actually have a pivoted door. So let's go through the helm quick. Interior helm. We have the windshield wiper, bilge pump switches here, horn switch, navigation lights. We got the Garmin plotter here where we can have the engine data displayed on. We have the start and stop buttons, ignition switches for the Volvo main engines. We got the bow and stern thruster control right underneath here, shift and throttle control, joystick for the Volvos. Then we have the two main displays, the Garmin chart plotters where we can have the chart or we can display a radar or fish finder, all what we have here right now, the surveillance cameras actually. Emergency stop buttons, the helm itself, the autopilot. Get the Humphrey control for the trim tabs, 
VHF radio, and I think we should check out the staterooms. You got it. But first, really important, we've got a really convenient side door here. The proper side door, yes. actually. And if you're docking, you need to quickly pop in here. You can also see what's going on. You can communicate. It's quite nice. And I saw, let me just go around one more time and show you guys something. This boat has actually a yacht control. Nice. You can just walk out here and nicely dock. Correct. It's probably what they did right here, just as they were coming into the show. I would imagine, yes. Yeah. All right, let's go check out the staterooms. Sounds good. Lots of people are trying to see this boat, so we're trying to move quickly. Okay, first, we're gonna go all the way forward. Okay, sounds good. You didn't have a choice, really. Decision was made for you. All right, so this is a three cabin layout. You can also have a two cabin layout, which I think is gonna be pretty huge. So I like how low this bed is. Mm -hmm. I mean, the positioning of it is super comfortable. You have the step ups here. So I'm 5'7 and the hat, I'm probably like 5'9 or something, 5'10. It's easy six feet and I'm already on top of something. So you can go all the way forward, make your bed. And a lot of you are asking about that. It's uh, quite comfortable here, but that is not your owner suite. Just remember this is a guest cabin. We have our wardrobe right here, mm -hmm. TV, another wardrobe, storage here. Let's open one up everybody who is trying to buy this boat and really want to see what it has to offer and is not able to make it to the boat show. And then, check this out. Oh, big draw. Did you show that wardrobe already as well? Yeah. Well, Did I same, miss it? Same size. Yeah, but two. Yeah, yeah. In the VIP. It's pretty Amazing. Great. We have an ensuite. Come on in. I'm going to say this is quite large. This is really nice. Very comfortable. We've got a really nice one-person shower. So we have the fan running here, which is connected to the lights. So okay. you hear the buzzing sound. It's yes. the extraction fan. What is this here? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh wow, wow, it's access. Oh, look at that, Victron. That's Check massive. it out. Cool. And then, of course, we have our Madison cabinet here. And then a bit more storage down there. Very, very well laid out. And another storage here. So you will be perfectly fine here as a guest. And now we're gonna go aft on our port side. Technically this could be a twin cabin, but they set it up as a triple, is a request from the owner. And honestly, for a kid's cabin, this is great. Oh wow, that is amazing. Tons of space, they're storing some cushions here. How cool is that? Exposed storage right here. It's the perfect kid's cabin Oh, actually. it's great. If I was a kid, I would really love it. Right, it's so cozy. Yeah, and then right next to you is our hanging locker. Every stateroom has its own TV. Openable porthole right there. Did we point out any portholes in the forward cabin? Um, was there no, any? we didn't. We got a porthole right there and we got a porthole on the port side as well. Openable. Open a porthole. Nice. Yes. Well, since you're there already, you can uh, open the door to a day head and I meet you there. All right. Hello. Hello. Okay. Coming in? Yeah, the fan's gonna come on, so bear with the sound here. So there's a head here. This is a wet head. So you've got your curtain right here, you close it up, and this is a wet head shower. Which is pretty generous, actually. Since it is a wet head, you have a lot of space. I think the way they did this is because primarily it's gonna be used as a day head, and yeah. this is a kid's cabin. And then here we have still plenty of storage. It's a drawer here. Let's go check out the owner suite. Oh, it's set up like a shower, Yeah, I because it. it's okay. a drain. That makes sense. Okay, and now we're going aft into our owner suite. Full beam. Let's start on this side. We're gonna check out some serious storage here. Storage and storage, hanging locker. Mm -hmm. We've got drawers, open one up. We also have a desk working area here or getting ready makeup area. Depends if you're working or on vacation. A little bit of storage here. It's, it's a queen size, it's a right? Queen size. Yeah, for sure. But you know what? If you wanted to, you could totally put in European king. Yes, if you wanted to, there is definitely there space. There is the space for it. Yeah, nothing here, right? It's just a mirror. I believe Full so. Full size mirror. And then on this side, we have a little side T. Same size hanging lockers here and then drawers as well and of course it has its own ensuite okay i will come into this shower lots of countertop space okay look one person shower very nice got a good bench here and then you can show the rest over there so over here we have a very large countertop single sink medicine cabinet let's open it up in victoria style and right below here we have drawers even though that is interesting. Got the sink, still got drawers. Pretty impressive. Below that, we still have 
huge amount of space. All right, how did he do, you guys? Put it in the comments. He Fantastic. said a Victoria style, but I thought it was Nick style. You were holding Nick's camera, style? you were opening stuff. It was oh. more Nick's than me. I've got two hands. Oh, that's right. Two hands, just hands. All right, where are we going next? Now we're gonna go and check out the engine room. Let's do it. And let the other people in who wanna see this boat. That's your turn. Oh, my turn. <gasps> I gotta go back in the hole. Let's go check it out. Oh, look, it's got a proper ladder. It does. Wow, wow. Very good, have fun. Holy moly. Okay, good. This is actually way bigger than I expected, Enjoy. to be quite honest. So we got two Volvo D11s. Looking at it, it says 670 on there, so I'm just gonna do the conclusion and think it's 670 horsepower each. As we saw upstairs, we have a joystick, so everybody was probably thinking, oh, these are IPS drives. Wrong, they're not. They're not IPS drives, they're actually V drives. So we got the transmission right there, and then you see the shaft going aft. As you see, the engines are tilted forward. So proper V drive setup. We got the two pickups for the PTOs, the hydraulic system, one there, one there. Engine room ventilation right up there. Got our fuel tanks on the outside, on both sides. Big, huge stainless steel fuel tanks, I think. Looking aft, got the side power hydraulic unit right there. Victron Energy battery chargers right there. The cola generator and another cola generator on the aft part. Great, great room to work around the engine room here. Absolutely incredible, really. Gotta say, got one air conditioned chiller unit right there, which is running right now, so that's the sound you're hearing. Great access to the engines. Great headroom, I can almost stand up right. I mean, I gotta go down with my head a little bit once I'm out of this head yeah. space. Watch your sunglasses that you're so... Oh uh, yeah, don't wanna scratch them. Yeah. Still, like, look, I mean, I'm standing, this is my eye height right now here. It's a great headroom actually in here. And lots of space to actually add a tool cabinet, some storage bins, lots of space in here. This is incredible. This is a really, really, really good workable space. Very impressed. Alrighty, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour. Make sure you hit that like button. We always appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a naughty day. Ciao.